Hi friends and welcome back to the Couch Crocheter. I'm not doing much up here tonight. I might work on some flowers. I'm a little still exhausted from the weekend. We did have the craft show. Um, it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. I left there on Friday on such a high from seeing my students and the music and just the atmosphere. And it was just, it was relaxing and it was amazing. Um, I did do good. I sold quite a few items. I do believe the tally by memory, which, you know, it was, it was a go, go, go six hours. Um, and like students were constantly coming up and talking and um, it was just, it was just fun. So this is what I think that I sold. I might've missed a few things. Um, I'll have to go through it again once I, you know, and then do a proper inventory again. So sorry guys, it's a wee bit warm up here. They do not have the air conditioner on from the whole weekend. And it was like 91 degrees today. So I just have my fan blowing around. So now I'm blowing around and I'm sorry. I'm also sorry if you hear it. Uh, but it's hot up here. It is, it is definitely warm up here. Uh, so where was I? Oh yeah, what I sold. So I believe that I sold two hats, two loveys, two shawls, asymmetrical shawl, Oh, um, Logan ended up buying, um, Terry the, ter Terry the Terrapin, so he's not with us anymore. What else? I thought there was something else. I think that might have been it. Yeah, that might have been it. And then I sold ice creams while I was there. And, you know, water, a bubbly, a Snapple tea, um, flavors. I think that's all that we sold. Um, I made back the money that I spent to rent the van to get everything there. And I made back the money that I spent on ice cream. Um, I did donate whatever ice cream that I did not sell to Julia's Music Studio. So, you know, at the end of a day or whatnot, you know, they can have a treat or, um, you know, their parents can pay Julia for the treat or, or, you know, whatever. So I left her with all the ice cream. I left the freezer there. Her studio, her new studio is the cutest ever. Like it's in this, I want to say 1780s, um, built house. It has a built in fireplace, which, you know, isn't that big of a deal. But then next door to it, it has a built-in cauldron, like, cooker, where you literally put, like, a big wok or cauldron inside this thing, and that's how you cook your food. And I thought that was amazing, and it was, like, all rounded. Like, everything in the house had, like, rounded waves in it. Um, there was no corners. Everything was rounded. The walkways were um arch style with like this roundedness on the like it is gorgeous and then so it was like fireplace and then on this side of it was like that cauldron cookie thing cooking thing and then on the left side of it is a built-in what they used to i imagine make for way back when was bread <laughs> but we know it now as a pizza oven <laughs> um like everything was like very old and very the, the 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 juju in there the 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 atmosphere in there is just amazing i am so happy for julia um so happy for julia she was one of my teachers at the school and also one of my very good best friends um she did amazing the students did amazing and let me tell you I think the hardest part of the night <laughs> was seeing how much they've grown. Now, I haven't seen these guys, some of them, in, well, Julia had an outdoor affair that we went to, and that was, what, two months ago? 
but I didn't really see a lot of the students then because it was more for big band, which is what, you know, another music thing that she supports. Um, so I didn't get to see many students there. I think I only saw two. I saw more teachers than I saw students. But at the recital, like everybody is just growing. And I know that's natural. And you're like, yeah, Dawn, that, you know, welcome to life. <laughs> but it was just, it kind of set me back a bit. I was like, oh my gosh, like one of my students used to sit like on a stool and barely be able to get up on the stool. And now he's taller than me. And I'm like, whoa, 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 what happened? <laughs> I'm like, whoa, hey, what's up? What? <laughs> it was just awesome, awesome to see everybody. So I did no crocheting this weekend whatsoever. Um, we had a little after party um, up at Julia's house when it was all over. I had a little bit too much to drink. We ended up sleeping over. Then we had to wake up and return the van. And then I pretty much stayed up here um, in the air conditioning, well, the air conditioning, the cooler room. <laughs> um, honey went out with Cole for the day. They went out golfing and chipping, putting, and um, they went out to the manor for dinner. I just stayed up here and chilled and slept. Uh, I did no crocheting this weekend. I did not pick up a hook, not once. And I feel guilty. <laughs> I do. I feel guilty. I feel like I abandoned or neglecting my projects. I don't know. I feel guilty. So I might get some crocheting up here tonight. Or I might just relax, uh, relax in the fan. Um, cause again, it was a really hot day today. It was draining and I think it's supposed to be another really hot day tomorrow, but I have great news on the shouse. Um, we did, uh, order the air conditioners. They should be coming. I think now the updated date is anywhere between the 10th and the 13th of September. Um, so those are ordered. Uh, my brother gave me the list of stuff that I need to purchase for the electricity. Um, so we have to do that and that's not happening this coming weekend, but the following weekend that's happening. So in two weeks, um, I should be having a video saying, well, you know, it might be three weeks actually. Two weeks phase one starting and then they have to do a phase two i guess outdoor and indoor is two different phases two different times so it might be three weeks till i have electricity but in two weeks i believe the electricity will be run it just won't be all happily connected we're doing the um inside first actually and i know we're supposed to do the outside first and then the inside but um because he has to there's some stuff that he has to do so he wants to do the inside first, get that all wiring, um, wired, and then he wants to do the outside. And besides, we have to wait for the air conditioners. And if they're not in yet, then that has to wait as well, which is also why we're just doing the inside and not the outside. Because I do want the air conditioners hardwired in, or the one air conditioner compressor hardwired in, um, into the house. I don't want a plug. I want it hardwired in right up to the breaker. So if it blows, it blows our breaker before it blows the main house. Um, anywho, so that's good news. So it is coming along. Uh, let's see what else. I think that's it guys. I did nothing really this weekend. We went to the craft show. I recuperated on Saturday and then today was Sunday. I hung out with Matt, went down to Costco's, um, saw my mom, delivered the card to her. Oh, and tomatoes. My tomatoes are doing great, so everybody's getting tomatoes. Um, then we came home. Um, oh, and then we went over to his sister's house and hung out there for a little bit. Then we came up here so Matt can relax before he had to go in, and now I'm here. Like, I did nothing today <laughs> as far as crocheting. And I'm not sure anything's going to happen tonight either. I might just sit up here and relax and catch up on the videos that I didn't get to watch all weekend. <laughs> Guys, thanks for stopping by. Be safe and stay groovy. Bye.